moving further there are few sanitary practices which are to be followed in a food industry when you are working in a food industry let's discuss them one by one bathing is very important workers must bathe daily as the body odor is offensive and skin is the main breeding ground for the bacteria use of good soap is very important and you must change your clothes daily then the second is hair see hair can be a breeding ground for bacteria unclean hair causes dandruff lice and makes the scalp itch to avoid this hair must be covered with the head cover so this is the head cover whenever you are working in a food industry it is very important to cover your head with the head cover another thing is this prevents the long hair from getting entangled in the machine hair should be neatly tied if long and hair length for men should be kept to the minimum then is eyes eyes must be covered with the safety goggles wherever it is necessary and eyes must be kept clean and washed frequently rubbing of eyes should be avoided an employee suffering from sore eyes should not be allowed to work so in this slide we have discussed three points first is bathing then is hair then then is eyes moving further teeth and mouth they must be covered with the mask when you are working in a food industry teeth should be brushed regularly and thoroughly cleaned with a moderate hard brush next is hands our hands are possibly the most unsafe serving equipment in the chain of infection in the entire food service operation bacteria flourish on the skin because the ideal temperature conditions are provided skin secretions provide food for the growth and microorganisms they lodged in pores crevices and possibly cracks on the skin the most dangerous bacteria my friends always remember this is staphylococci s t a p h y l o c o c c i staphylococci now in addition to the normal flora on the skin inadequate hand washing could cause accumulation of microorganisms and they can cause disease so hands must must be washed properly you must cut your fingernails and when you are working in a food industry no jewelry is, is allowed except your engagement ring other thing is there is a proper method of washing your hands this is pretty much clear because of the covid 19 crisis we all know we have to wash our hands at least for 20 seconds and it's very important you count 20 seconds either by counting 1 2 3 like so hands must be dried properly disposable paper tissue should be used and it should be thrown in the dustbin now if there is cut burn or anything like that it must be covered with a waterproof dressing and thereafter you have to wear the gloves wherever it is necessary for in for instance talking about the hands no jewelry gloves must be wear and fingernails should be cut short other thing is no nail polish because sometimes the nail polishes are toxic nail polish should be avoided in the production area as it may mask accumulated dirt or it could chip and enter the food so mostly it is discouraged in food industry see i have already told you that there no no jewelry should be worn when you are working in a food industry because finger nails uh, finger rings can accumulate dirt like toe accumulation in the ring bangles and bracelets can get heated up and they can come in the way of work wrist watches should not be worn in the kitchen or in the processing area because they can fall off wrist watch face can break and glass can accidentally enter into the food 
and may harbor bacteria so this is the main reason why no jewelry is preferred in processing area then is feet and footwear when we are working in a food industry we have to stand for long working hours we have to bear extra stress strain so extra attention should be given to the feet feet should be washed and kept clean especially between the toes socks should always be worn with shoes to keep away dirt and absorb perspiration they should be washed daily shoes should be sturdy clean well polished and for that in food industry we use safety shoes you can see these shoes they are much more comfortable and they provide protection to your feet against falling objects and spills so this is the book which i have referred food hygiene and sanitation by sunitra rode i'm going to share notes with you i hope you enjoy the lecture please go back and revise this lecture carefully in the next lecture i am going to show you the video regarding this lecture thank you so much